In this video, we want to talk about style sheets. Style sheets are another tool like master pages and um, uh, layers that help to automate what we're doing. And it has really two primary functions. One is it absolutely um, helps us create consistency throughout long documents. And if um, we create uh, style sheets and then we need to change a category of information, we can change it once in the style sheet and all of the type that might have been um, tagged with or connected to that style will in fact change automatically. So like uh, when we make changes on the master page, it automatically applies um, the changes to those graphics on every page of our document. So um, that is how style sheets work. And style sheets are used anytime we have different categories of information, such as um, the numbers in our um, uh, calendar. Um, those would be one category. Uh, the holidays might be another category. The um, large blocks of text that are the months um, uh, in our calendar. Like here, I'll do the, uh, the big January. And you'll see what I'm talking about um, hopefully. Now we have two categories of style sheets. We have one um, that is called paragraph styles, and then we have another that's called character styles. And most of the time, I suggest we use um, paragraph styles. And the reason being, and I'll show you, um, is that there are more options for things that can be set up with paragraph styles than there are with character styles. And in particular, the uh, character styles don't have um, uh, don't have the necessary um, box for alignments, which I find um, extremely important and fundamental. So here I've got my paragraph styles box and my um, character styles um, palettes. And I'll first look at uh, character styles and we'll see what the limitation is there. I'm going here to my options button and I'll say a new character style. And here I've got the general basic character information, character color, and several other things. But one very important one that's missing with character styles is the alignment. I, I don't have a place within these choices to set up flush left or flush right or whether I want the text to be centered. And that's fundamental. So for that reason, I don't use character styles very much. And I'll go over here to paragraph styles and we'll say new paragraph styles. And look at how many more um, areas of information we have that we can fill in. And um, we don't have to use all of these, but there's, as I said, one very important one, which is indents and spacing. And when we have that, we can set the alignment of that style. And that, to me, is very, very important. So um, we want to set up styles for all the different categories of text. Now, we can just set up a new style sheet from the get-go. Or if we already have a piece of text, let's say like this January, that we um, have the size that we want and we want to set this up as a style sheet, we can activate this or highlight it either with the type tool like this or just selecting it with the black arrow. And we'll say create a new paragraph. <clears throat> style. And I'm going to call this the months. Give them a name, as always, that hopefully makes some sense. 
and I'll say um, the basic character style, um, basic character information. Now, one of the things that happens is because I chose some text before I said make a new style sheet, the specifications for that text are right here. So um, by simply highlighting the text that we want to make into a style, this already has the type style and it already has the, um, the size of the text. So I'll go to basic character. I want times. I have it set at 70, 70 points. And um, then I'm going to just keep it simple. I'm going to, as I mentioned, indents and spacing. I want it flush left. And then I'm also going to go down and let's make it a color. I'll make it dark blue. OK. And so I'm going to say OK. And now in my palette here, you can see there's a, there's a style sheet that says months. And any piece of type that I can create, I'm going to go ahead and create another piece of type so that you can say, see this in action. And uh, hold on, I'll get it back in the screen here so that you can see this. Okay. And um, what I have here is a piece of text. All right. And by simply highlighting that or selecting that piece of text and clicking the months over here in my paragraph styles, it will automatically make this piece of text, the, whatever specifications, color, whatever this was set up to be. And there you see it. Okay. And so again, I can click this and say, make it the months. And there it is. And then let's say uh, my client decides that, well, you know, I don't like this type being blue, um, being uh, this particular color. Let's see what it would look like in red. Every single piece of text in this document that I had tagged or chosen to have this paragraph style apply to, I could, in fact, um, just go back here by double-clicking on it. I'll go to the color, and I'll say, let's try it in red. And when I say OK, watch these two pieces of text automatically change to red. So um, again, this allows you to make any changes to the text that was connected or tagged with that style. And it would prevent you from accidentally forgetting, and on another page, maybe make the February or the March um, a different color or a slightly different size or centering it instead of flush left because what you do is every piece of text that you want to have this style or these attributes you simply select the text and come and pick it um, that style 